Mexico. Sweet Sharon, sweet Sharon, what a wonder you are. <laughs> Is this a new marketing technique? Ah, buy some milk and hear a song. Not the way he's singing. Mr. Matano, would you like some milk? Two for one rainy season special. Ah, so business is going on very well. Yeah, but it's a pity we can't be like this during the dry season, though. You should look into silage, then. Look into what? Silage. This is when you conserve uh, forage for cows during the wet season and use it in the dry season. There's nothing going on. You kissed her, you stole my... She kissed me and you asked me to sing that stupid song. Look, it was a one-off thing, okay? Now listen, I don't want to talk about small Sharon anymore. What's all this, my friends? You look like petty merchandiser. <laughs> my father is always telling me to take initiative, so I wanted to surprise him by making some of the silage that you told us about last week. We chopped all the napier yesterday. Ah, yes, silage. Many dairy farmers experienced uh, a significant decrease in milk production during the dry season due to a drop in forage availability. But if we can harvest this surplus cow food during the rainy season, we can store it and use it whenever we need it. Yeah, right. So our milk bar will have plenty of milk all year round. <laughs> yes, and milk prices are a lot higher during the dry season. <laughs> <laughs> and this silage will make us rich. <laughs> Good, so you can help us? Ah, well, I had so many things planned for today, but then why not? There's no time like the present. Is she waving at me or one of you? Pipi, see, I did for today is still on. Uh, yeah, same place. See you then. I can't believe you lied to me. You're seeing her tonight. Look, we're just friends. I don't want to talk about this anymore. Here's the chopped napier, Mr. Matano. What next? Good. Step one, chop forage to length of about one inch or less using the chaff cutter or the panga, which I can see you have done to the very right length. Yeah, but it took us some time, though. You know, you can also make forage from maize thinnings and this ordinary grass. It says here, uh, maize and sorghum forage and be grown specifically for silage. We have lots of maize in the shamba. That means we can make lots of it. Hey. Step two, spread a polythene sheet, chandarua or canvas onto a flat surface and place the chopped material onto it. He must be the, you get this polythene bag, spread it on the flat surface and spread the forage thinly over it. As long as I don't have to work with that traitor. Spread the porridge, Mr. Matano. Ah, excellent. Now we move on to step number three. Dilute one liter of molasses with three liters of water. Must be, you make up the molasses. I will not do anything just because you ask. But for Mr. Matano and the cows, I'll do it speedy, speedy. One liter of molasses to three liters of water, right? Very right, Mr. Maspidi. the diluted molasses onto the chopped forage as evenly as possible. Then turn and mix the forage repeatedly as you go on to make sure it is spread evenly. Then what do we do? You weigh that mixture of forage and molasses before putting it into the plastic tubing. If you're the one to weigh it. You know, you can also know the weight by putting it into those two sacks. <laughs> two sacks of... Uh, Molasses is usually 50 to 70 kilograms. But you must also have a 2.5 meter long plastic tubing that is also 1.5 meters wide and is of 1,000 gauge. Like the one I bought in the shop. Uh, <laughs> good. <laughs> you know, second hand ones uh, and the weaker gauge might burst during the process. But with that one, you can recycle by turning it inside out and using it again. So how much can one bag store? Uh, a 2.5 meter tubing can carry something like 350 to 420 
kilograms. Then after that, it is simply putting into the bag and compacting and repeating the process. Why do we have to compact it? To, to remove as much air as possible. That way, the forage mixture will not rot. It, it ferments very properly. You think you can steal my song and then lie about going out with my girl and then everything is okay? <laughs> well, it's not. Maspidi, let's just finish this and then we can talk about it. Pipi is right, Maspidi. You have almost finished your first bag of silage. Have you left a, a foot at the top of the bag? Uh, yes, I think so. Now, tie the plastic bag tightly, ensuring that as little air as possible remains at the top of your silage mixture. And how do we store it? Uh, store away from direct sunlight or rain. You might also want to place some weight on the tied sack, e.g. a stone to maintain the compacting. And that's it. Your silage will be ready to feed the cows within 21 days. And the silage is all they need? I know. Ah, the silage will also need to be supplemented with concentrates like dairy meal and minerals. And feed it to the cows at least two hours before milking or immediately after to avoid tainting. With those few words, let's meet again in the dry season as we feed our cows on silage and make a killing from increased milk sales. Not me. I cannot continue working in the milk bar. Not with this lyrics and girlfriend snatcher. I quit. Fine. You are never that much help anyway. <laughs> 